Hi, and welcome to another video. Today I will show how to prepare images for scratch paper. I also attached a link to the scratch paper I used in the video description. I have to say it's much easier on diode lasers, or on low power CO2 lasers, however, on my 80 watt CO2 laser it always burned the paper way too much, so I want to show a workaround. All of these images were made with my 80 watt CO2 laser, 500 mm per second speed and 10% power. Let's go! First we open the website image-r.com. Now just upload the image you want to burn. My scratch paper is 185mm in width and 135mm in height, so I have to make sure the values are at least at that size. If one of them is bigger it's not an issue, we will fix that later. I need 254 dpi for my laser, and I use a compound lens. I also attached the link for my lens in the video description. Since the scratch paper is black on the top, I have to use the black slate material, since it has to be inverted. I will use the Skeldon algorithm. Since the black spots are the problem, I will first run the color correction to make the image colors more even. Now I will decrease the gamma adjustment to get less blacks, since it's inverted you have to think the opposite as normal. Now the most important part, decreasing the contrast a lot. As you see, all black areas are now gray, exactly what we need on a higher power machine. I will decrease brightness also a little, this will make the whites more popping. Save the image as BMP or PNG and we are done here. Now I will upload the prepared image again. I click on the crop feature and change the measurement to mm, then crop the image to your scratch paper size, in my case 185mm and 135mm. Now download the image again as PNG or BMP, and it's ready to burn. Let's do another one. Basically all steps are the same until we have chosen the material, so I will speed this up. Again, first step is to run the color correction. You can see clearly the improvement on the dog's belt at the chest. Now I will decrease the gamma value. Lost too much detail at 0.7, so I will go with 0.8. Now decrease the contrast. Also a small decrease on the brightness for the whites. Since the image is a little too flat, I will change the contrast again. Looks good to me now, let's save it. Now I will upload the prepared image again, and crop it to the correct size of my scratch paper. After, click directly on the download button and save it. Since the next two images have the same workflow, I will speed the preparation up a lot. You can change the video speed if you want to follow it anyways. I did now already about 50 scratch paper images and this worked basically for every image perfectly. You can also try it with other algorithms, it doesn't have to be Skeldon. Great, now we can start burning them. Love it, they look really great and are easy to make, as soon as you have found your settings. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also it would be great if you leave a comment, since this helps my channel a lot. Have a great day and good luck. Bye.